OMG get into this look. If you're here again for that tutorial, sit tight because we are doing it so say hi to oyinda she's my model for today so we first of all remove those ashiness on her skin by applying a little bit of um balm on her skin then i went ahead to like clean off the dirt on her face first things first obviously you know you know a moisturizer afterwards i'll properly blend it into her skin if you watch my previous tutorial or class you would know that this is a regular procedure when i am doing makeup so after applying this moisturizer and allowing it to absorb properly into her skin i went ahead with what say it a sunscreen first of all the reason i apply sunscreen on my model or client's face is because they deserve a lot of sun protection okay and the sunscreen i use is the skin aqua sunscreen i'll put all the link to every single product that i used on this makeup then next i am going in with a primer the nigerian weather is super hot lately and the best thing you can do to anybody who is about wearing makeup is to apply a mattifying primer and i use the one from remel stay matte primer very accessible very um beginner friendly very pro makeup artist um what's the word you know what i mean anyways after applying my primer all over her t-zones i went ahead with a foundation and you know i always apply my foundation using a beauty blender the foundation i use is the Maybelline superstay foundation in the shade 360. now let me point out one thing somehow i managed to get my hand on the Maybelline superstay foundation i have the old one and i have the new one and i noticed that the shade range is kind of different the first one has um the old one excuse me has a more warmer beautiful reddish tone however the new one is kind of grayish and i don't really like it um pointing it out that i actually tamed her brows okay i tamed her brows yeah and then after uh afterwards i applied the foundation on her skin and i know you're looking at it and you're like oh why is it warm chill 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 you will get it you will get the hang of it so i started using my damn beauty blender and this beauty sponge pardon me this beauty sponge is from talk glam is a nigerian beauty vendor and i apply the foundation all over her skin you know to cover any sort of imperfection even though she does not have so much of and imperfection on her face afterwards i'm going in with a contour stick obviously the only contour stick i use is the one from black copper and this is the shade ebony brown and i am contouring her cheekbone her jawline her chin um close to her eye area and her forehead this is to still replicate the shadow on her face naturally if you get what i mean you get what i mean and then i'll go in with my beauty sponge to blend it out and one thing i always do is i blend upwards when i am using like when i'm trying to contour i don't blend and blend down when you blend down you're going to suck the person's face are you listening students are you listening okay no students you guys are my bestie anyways i blend upwards and i make sure like i give her like a very chiseled but not overly dark feeling my light setup was kind of tricky this time around probably was because of the clothes i was wearing it got it got me super frustrated i didn't know what i was doing but after watching this video i was like okay okay it's actually nice it's actually actually nice so after contouring i went in with my concealer now one thing i do is i do like brightening and i do concealing where yeah, i use a very lighter shade and then i go in with a darker shade this will help me like get that bright effect without just giving her a flat face if you get you get anyways the concealer i'm using is a nuban concealer and the uh, juvia's place concealer in 12 
Nuban Concealer, I think, is the shade 046.5, which is the regular shade I use for every dark skin girl. Because of the tone, the undertone is like yellowish orangey. It's very beautiful. If you are doing makeup on dark skin, let me tell you, undertones like yellow and orangey or reddish should be your best friend. If you know, you know. So, after blending this, like, tap, 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 tap tapping motions i went in with what this okay way back so i went in with my blush you know the jazz you know the jazz always improvise as as possible just just improvise improvise so i used my eye magic lip palette as my blush so i use a brush and then i go back with a beauty sponge to, to make it um seamless i can't even talk what what is going on Anyways, after my blush, I went ahead to apply my pressed powder. And I noticed that the pressed powder I use is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep or Deep Dark. Dark Deep. I pressed it in using a beauty puff. A triangular beauty puff. Hold your ears. A triangular beauty puff okay you get it now so afterwards i went ahead to like um set the entire face after applying um the the powder and you can notice that i still went in with the sephora micro smooth powder in the inner corner to make sure that she has a brightening effect now for all over her face obviously you can see it you can see it here can you see it yes is this um mac mineralized skin finish that i use in like mattifying her entire face so afterwards i went into contour dry contour okay now i got this product in pr if you don't know this is a Ghanaian brand they really blew my mind i have not seen like a palette that impressed me the way this palette impressed me this is the annie's beauty multi-purpose brown palette ah, you need to buy it you need to buy it trust me trust me trust my words you need to buy it i used it in contouring her cheekbone jawline um forehead bridge of the nose you know you know you know the jazz you know the jazz afterwards they also sent me a blush palette which is what i'm using i use the orangey shade and you can see that flush of life on her face what period period because the um palette the brown palette is a multi-purpose palette i also use it as my eyeshadow palette you can see that i'm smudging the brown shade under her eye and then i went in with another brush um to start doing her eyeshadow the transition shade if you guys want me to do a detailed video where i talk about the brushes i use and how i use them please leave a comment on the comment section i will be excited to tell you the brushes i use and how i use them okay okay now i am still applying her transition shade which is a very warm brown shade on the brown like the multi-purpose brown palette then afterwards i went into the dark shade. you can see how this girl is smiling like this content day was one of the most amazing day because i love when i'm doing makeup on someone and she's excited and she's happy and she's enjoying it okay i went into the darker shade and i still like smudging it just to give it a smoked out effect let me point it out most of the times i don't use um an eye base I do not use an eye base simply because i am really good at what i'm doing so like i know the effect i want to get out of a particular look so i basically don't use an eye base sometimes but please if you're a beginner i would advise i would see draw your ear besties draw your ears i would advise you use an eye base it will help your eyeshadow pop afterwards i went into my morphe palette i can't remember which particular palette is that because i have two palettes but then i use the pinky shade as her lead shade you can see how pigmented it is you can see like you can see how pigment okay quick one i was gearing for like a pink a pink pink 
eye look however when i started applying my um glitter glue which is what i'm applying now and i went in with my pigments i was looking for a pink pigment and i took like a very dual chrome pigment and it came out as blue it came out as blue well i was like you know what see i think god is just directing me on what to do and what to look nice so i didn't bother cleaning it i just left it the way it is and it really came out nice now at this point i went in with my um setting powder this is the younger beauty setting powder this is a nigerian brand that i can vouch go and get their setting powder this is the shell cinnamon and it's really really nice now for her gel liner i'm not sure if this is the mirac um black pencil or if it's the polar beauty black pencil but i will always recommend these two black pencil if you want to like smudge black under your on your waterline so for her brows see you can find davis brow pencil anywhere in nigeria anywhere and everywhere and it's cheap it is super 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 cheap so please buy it and then i went in to my hegai and esther brow pomade in the shade toffee to like draw the line i don't know how to explain it but like just to define the line of her brows and i did the same thing in the other brows fill in first give that feathery effect first and then you do what you now outline that's the best and easiest way to do your eyeshadow first is just tell me the truth is this look not coming together meanwhile i keep wondering why you guys don't watch my vlogs don't you enjoy it please watch my vlogs okay now moving forward i went in with my concealer the nuban concealer in the shade for 6.5 to like clean up the brows and like give it like a little bit of brightening effect there just to like make it pop and i also went ahead to blend it like blend the concealer and the eyeshadow so it doesn't leave any harsh line now we're already concluding with this um with this entire makeup i went into my mac mineralized skin finish to press in the setting powder and the press powder into her skin so that it can test the um it was the english come on you guys you know how you want the something time anyways moving forward <laughs> so i went in with my shop didi lip pencil in the shade maroon and then i also went in with my higa and esther uh brow pomade to just highlight and emphasize the lip line then i'm i am using the avo lip stain i don't know the shade to um as a lipstick you get what i mean now i sprayed her face and i applied some highlighter morphe spray and so processing spray and for the highlighter i used the what's it called what is it called i use the fancy beauty highlighter and this is the completed look you guys this is the completed look i hope you guys love my tutorial don't forget to hit the subscribe button this is how the makeup looks even with low exposure leave a comment on whatever you need to ask me in the comment section and i'll see you on my next one Mwah! bye